Viewer discretion is advised for this Love Theme podcast. The content may contain discussions and sensitive topics related to relationships, dating, and love. Some content may not be suitable for all listeners, especially those uncomfortable with open and vulnerable conversations. We encourage our listeners to practice self-care and to reach out to a trusted friend or professional if they need support. You have no friends, you have me. Welcome to the Lost Lover Boy Podcast. Welcome to another episode of the Lost Lover Boy Podcast. I am your host, as always, Dimitri Wiley. That's my name. Um, I am here today because I know y'all thought y'all wouldn't see me. Y'all thought y'all was going to get a week off. You know, um, not today. Not tat out. Um, first off, if you're new here, welcome to the home of the lovers, you know. This is a safe space, I promise you. Everything uttered in between these YouTube comments is your my secret to keep. You know, this is my, me and your secret to keep. Um, for everybody who's returning, thank you, thank you so, so much from the bottom of my heart for always being here, always showing up for me. What you guys have done for me has been phenomenal up until this point, and I hope I've only given you as much as you've given me. So welcome back, you know. Um, Granny, if you watch her, this may not be an episode for you, girl, as you are already married. So steer clear. You understand what I'm saying? Don't be taking what I'm saying right now and comparing it to granddaddy. You understand what I'm saying? Let him be. Let him sleep. Um, today's episode, I wanted to have a conversation, right? A conversation about high value in men and women. And what that means for a man versus a woman. What that means in the partner you seek. What to... What signs to pay attention to when you're out there maneuvering in a world, looking to analyze a man that's in front of you, looking to analyze that woman that's in front of you. You know, there's, there's a few sure tale signs, some you may be familiar with, some you may not know. I'm just here to expose all secrets so we doing better in this dating world and not, you know, regressing. You know, because I even tweeted the other day, all lovers just want to be loved. And that stands true to whether you're... Me, or whether you're somebody else, um, if y'all know me, y'all know I could be in a, a very emotional man, you know, but with all that emotion comes a lot of um, self-regulation, comes a lot of emotional regulation, so I can be present and aware knowing what I'm putting out versus what I'm receiving in, how I'm affecting other people, how I'm affecting myself, you know, I've, I've learned, I've learned a lot, and that's why I'm here to teach as, you know. As, as much as I can. But I'm going I'm to start off with the men. And I'm going to start off on the biggest note. The biggest note. The biggest thing you'll see in a high value man. One of the biggest for sure tell signs that he is a high value man is self-control. There's nothing greater than that. There's nothing bigger than that. This is the most prevalent, most potent trait in a high value man. Seek a man with self-control. And let me tell you what this does. See, a man with self-control has the ability to say no, right? And he has the ability to foster and regulate what will be good for him, good to him, um, what he chooses to partake in, who he chooses to hang around. Um, the ability to have self-control in this nature is the greatest factor you'll ever find in a man. It also works well in the long term because a man with self-control, high-value men have loyalty. And I don't, I, don't, um, I don't think we speak on that enough. You know, loyalty is not something that is reflective of the person you were disloyal towards. Loyalty is only a reflection of yourself. If you couldn't have loyalty in yourself, you have no self-control. If you have no self-control, you weren't meant to be here in the first place. You understand what I'm saying? And I think far too often, we take people's disloyalty as reflections of who we are. And we, we, we internalize these wrongdoings and make them part of our character and saying, we weren't worthy of this and we didn't deserve this. And maybe it had nothing to do with you. You're just dealing with a... Low value man, low value woman. You know what I'm saying? And the, the thing about it is a high value man who has self-control has the ability to say no. That's one of the most simple traits in the world. And same for women. You know, online, um, in this day and age, it may seem like 
social media gives everyone so many options, you know? But it's the person who has the ability to say, no, this is not good for me. And, and, and vocalize that and say, this won't be good to me. High value. They're holding their values and their morals close to heart in terms of their decision making. You understand what I'm saying? Um, a high value man or high value woman typically has those same values for life. You know, what's important to them is typically important for life, like um, family and friends. And, you know, one of the biggest traits about high value people, I'm not even going to say high value men or women. I'm going to say high value people. High value people tend to seek internal validation rather than external. And what that means is I'm not shaping my life around what people will think of me. I'm shaping my life around what I believe in me, what I believe of me. And one of my core values, one of the biggest values I hold dear to my heart is being a good person. I say this all the time. When people ask me, they be like, what, 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 how do you know someone you know, will be for you? I know a good person when I see a good person. You know, and those people who aren't good people already don't qualify. You know, and I don't mean to say that like I'm, you know, somebody, but a good person is a value I hold dear to my heart. I need that. Because not only will you be a good person with me, don't just be a good person with people who love you. You're a good person all around the board. And like I said, people who have high value, and I'm speaking in self, tend to display those same characteristics throughout their whole life. It never changes. This is their whole endeavor. It's a base of their character. High value is in character. High value is not just you wake up one day and you're high value. High value is what do you believe of yourself? You know, um, see, the thing about it is it gets tricky because when we speak on value, right, the world, how we rate it today is market value, right? And I don't know if you've ever um, been to like a seafood restaurant where there was no price on the food. There was no price on this board. If you get a lobster roll, it says market value, right? That means every time you come in here to get this specific meal, it may be different every time because it's contingent on the way the market values this, right? And I think... A lot of times when we start to speak on people and their value, high value versus low value, when you begin to speak on people and their value, people start to look at it like, you know, it's a difficult situation. How can you tell someone, to, uh, you know, how to value themselves? But in all actuality, when we speak on a person's value, it's at market value. It's how the world perceives you. You get what I'm saying? And it's not like hypothetical. I'll, I'll give you an example, right? If you own a car. Right? This car could have been passed down to you generation after generation after generation. This car may mean a ton to you. Right? But market value tells you that Kelly Blue Book only going to give you 3000 for it. Kelly Blue Book only going to give you 4000 for it. So we speak, when we're speaking on value, we're speaking very vague to the world. You get what I'm saying? And, and all of what I'm speaking on, you do not have to hold to heart. If you believe these aren't the values that you desire, do not seek these values. I'm just solely giving you how I view the world and how I view myself. My, my, my basis is only contingent on myself. And I can't tell you to want a man like me. I can't tell you to want to, to, want to be a woman in which I seek. I, I can't tell you that. And I never would. You get what I'm saying? Because everything on this podcast is... Opinion based only is my view of the world. Nothing is factual, right? I'm going to just put that out there before I continue. Now, when we speak on high value and low value within people, it gets tricky because social media is skewed everything, right? In a lot of ways, people believe value is determined by money, you know? Um, people believe value is determined by Looks and values determined by height and values determined by all these other things, you know. Um, to me, that's not necessarily the case. To me, I'm speaking on a value of character, a value of morale, 
you know? And when I say that, to take it back to social media, if you look at social media these days, most people are naked. You know, even myself, I like to partake in a little jump pick and, uh, you know, flick me up. You know what I'm saying? I might take the shirt off and I'm proud of my progress. And there's nothing wrong with being proud of your body, you know, but you'll never see me online down in my drawers. Like you may, you may come through, it may hit the, it may hit the, 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 the you know, it may hit the eye messages. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I'm fucking around. But you know, for the right person, for Miss Wiley, if, hey, I'll send you one, you know what I'm saying? If you wanna. But anyway, what I'm saying is, you'll never see it for me. Because my value isn't sexual. It's worth more than that. I'm worth more than that. You, you know what I'm saying? My value is my mind. My value is my character. My value is the way I treat people. My value is the way I parent. My value is the way I friend. I, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I had a moment the other day. And it was probably like two days ago. Yeah, it was probably like two days ago. It might have been last night. I, they, the days are blowing together. You know what I'm saying? But within this moment, I stopped for a second. And allow me to pop my shit for one second. I stopped, right? And I actually started to perceive myself in the way the world does. Or the way the outside, mo some outside people do. I don't want to say most. I don't want to say all because it's not true. I thought to myself and I said, wow, outside of social media, I have a great career. I'm a great parent. I'm a great son. I'm a great friend. I care about the way I look. I attempt to expand my knowledge daily on not just one thing, but everything. I have a passion. I have a talent. I'm a good person. I said, ain't no way. I said, ain't no way. I said, there's no way I became this person and didn't even notice I was doing it. I don't wake up every day and say, man, if I hit the gym, I'm going to be able to look back and I never, I never saw it all as self-care. I never saw it all as, I uh, shit you not, the only, the only thing I ever saw it as is me preparing for my wife, right? I only ever saw it as me getting ready for who's to come. I never fucking viewed it externally and said, I'm him, you know? And my apologies for doing it now, but this is what I want to tell you. Since we're speaking on value, go look in the mirror. Like, I don't know when the last time you stopped to look in the mirror. Go look in the mirror. You probably not giving yourself so much credit. You're probably an incredible person, an incredible mom, an incredible friend. You probably the shit. An incredible dad, bro. If you listening, for all my fellas out there, give yourself credit. You trying. And a lot of times we don't even notice how far we've come because all we've been doing is trying and trying and trying. You know how you hit the gym and they be like, you may not see certain results because you look at yourself every day. But externally, those people looking in, hey, damn, that boy look like, Captain America with no shirt on there. That boy like, out there. You know what I'm saying? And I don't think you've given yourself enough credit. It's amazes, it, it amazes me because this has been the first time in my life since this podcast, since me speaking to the world, since music, since that I've received so much credit. And I still stop and say, that's not me, it's God. I still stop and say, it's not me, it's God. 
I am a reflection of all he is. Right? And God will tell you, don't be too humble. God will tell you, you are, there's, a pow there's power in free will. There's power in free will. Right? Give yourself credit for making the right decisions. Give yourself credit for attempting to be the good person. Give yourself credit for attempting to be the good friend, mending relationships, healing. Give yourself credit. Because you know what in turn you're doing? You're raising the value of yourself internally. Fuck market value at this point. Internally, you're raising your own value. But I just want to make sure I squeeze that in because that was real profound to me the other day. You know, um, daily I go out to seek knowledge on the world, not just me and my son. I answer like we'd be sitting and we'd be on a iPad and we playing these games that like, you know, these trivia games. What's the capital of da 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 and and what colors this flag and da da da? You know what I'm saying? I'm allow I'm I'm expanding my son's knowledge. I'm sorry, I'm rambling at this point, but I even had another moment the other day. So I made a post about delusion not being in Inside Out 2. Then I went and rewatched Inside Out 2, right? I went and saw it again, because I had seen it once. Um, but as I rewatched it, I started to, this is how my mind works. I've seen this once. Now I'm going to look at everything I did not see, right? So if I know this part had my attention, I'm going to look at the exterior, Right? It's like the movie breakdown things. How they be doing the movie breakdown things online? That's how much I want to learn. <coughs> Excuse me. And I believe Inside Out was one of the most profound movie series I've ever seen in my life. And if, as, amazingly, it's a kid's movie. But I realized that joy became delusion. For self. Like when things were getting bad, joy became delusion. But that's what joy is. You keep that until it gets good. But anyway, I took my son to the movie, right? And fuck, I don't want y'all judging me. But I'm, I'm the one sitting and yelling, it's a safe space all the time. So let me, you know what I'm saying? Let me speak my truth. I'm watching the movie and this is my second time seeing it. First time I got a little emotional. Second time... Wasn't, wasn't better. Second time, I'm looking at my son. And this is the part where anxiety is on the screen and da da da, da And I'm explaining to him, she's having, she's having an anxiety attack. And I'm explaining to him what it is. And whoo, this was hard for me, y'all. Oh, my God. Uh, it was harder than I... Imagine it to be because I'm looking at this little boy and I'm reflecting on my saddest moments, on my most anxiety driven moments, on my in my sleepless moments, in my depression, in my oh man, tears. I'm, I'm talking about tears here, tears here. You know what I'm saying? And he wiping my face and, you know, not even understanding what's going on. I think there's not, uh, another couple, the the. They super big on Instagram. The wife's name is Jenny, and the uh, the I don't know the husband's name, but I know they got like two daughters. I think they got two daughters. Super big on Instagram. I love this couple. But I seen when they went and seen Inside Out, Inside Out Two, Jenny was balling. But you know, I think the movie itself speaks to those who've battled internally. It speaks to those who sometimes reflected out to the world things that they did not deal with correctly. You know, um, but I say all of that to say my knowledge is always an attempt to expand. And I'm trying to expand my child's knowledge as well, you know. Um, it's never just me. But that's the quality of a high-value man, in my opinion. You're always looking to learn because a high-value man is a utility. A high-value man or... Or woman. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep, I'm going to just start saying high value person because I'm not looking to single anybody out a high value person. Fellas, I forget that you that sometimes, but you're there. You know what I'm saying? A high value person is a utility. 
right? I learned how to change oil. I learned how to do brakes. I learned how to rotate tires. I learned how to do all of these things. So when my wife comes along, I am a utility in service to this woman. I learned how to do laundry. I learned how to cook. I learned how to clean. I learned how to only for that sole reason to be a utility to me and so and, and, and this woman. You know, and um, I think oftentimes people forget that the quality of a high value person is to be good to self as well. You learn things for you to now denounce to the world. Now give back to the world. You understand what I'm saying? And to me, there's no greater quality outside of self-control. Then there is expanding your knowledge. It's less about how much money you make it. Because I, I refuse to think that a high value man, and there's a lot of people who do believe this, but we see homeless people as valueless people. And that's not the way the world works. That's not how it should work. I hate that perception. Again, I've always said, my wife is out there somewhere. And I don't know if I've said it on this podcast, but I'm going to give it to you again right now. I was having a conversation with a young lady some years ago, and I told her, my wife can be out there homeless. I may be the spark she need, or God is pushing towards her life to turn it around. That doesn't mean when I met her, she was low value. She was just undervalued. You get what I'm saying? Undervalued by the world. And I, I, I see it far too many times that people believe there's no value in people who don't have the means. That's absolutely fucking false. Because you can hit the lottery tomorrow, that doesn't change your value at all. Doesn't change your principles, your morals, or your character. It's a, it's a, it's a common statement that money only makes you more of who you already are. You understand what I'm saying? So my values will never change. It's me. And everybody be telling me, oh, stay humble. Don't do this. Don't do that. You ain't got to worry about none of that. You, you don't have to worry about any of that. My character's forcing that out of me. I got to remain who I am. I still give back every way I can. When I give away, when I, when I, when I, when I give something back to somebody homeless, I don't sit there and record it and be like, yo, look what I just did. God see it. God got it. You know, and God knows I do what I can. In every trying moment, high value man. High value man cares about the world and the people around him. To me, greed, greed and high value cannot coexist. That's me personally. You may disagree, but that's just me. My person cannot have those traits. You understand what I'm saying? That's just me. These are, these are values that I believe to be qualities, qualities I believe to be high value people. You know, um, high value man cares about the world's perception of them. And what I mean by that, I don't mean the superficial way. I don't mean I need to be in a club popping bottles trying to impress. I need to buy this car because the world's going to love it. I need to know. That's not what I'm saying. But if you care about the way the world views you, right? High value man says, I'm not just hypothetical. I'll give you an example. I keep saying hypothetical. I'll give you an example. When me and Logan go out, right? Logan's a reflection of me, right? I know Logan can't color coordinate. Logan don't care about matching. He don't give a fuck. There's a bliss in him that he just don't give a fuck, right? But daddy does. Daddy likes to make sure when you go out, you look presentable, right? Presentable to the world, right? So they know you have someone who cares about you, right? A high value man cares that the world knows he cares about himself. You ain't just been a step to me thinking you can say what you want to and it's going to fly. And I don't think people know this. Like, I be seeing them DMs, y'all. I, I check them DMs. I be seeing them DMs. And whoo, boy, do women just talk to you any kind of way when they think you, like, baby, I'm still, you know what I'm saying? I still care about myself. Like, like women flirt so aggressively. 
you know, answer my DM. Damn, baby, hold on. You know? Um, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still human. You, you feel me? But I think the thing about it is, I care about the world's perception of me and knowing that I care about myself. You ever looked at somebody and be like, yeah, they, that motherfucker take care of himself. He cares. You know? I care about what goes in my body. I care about how my body look. I care about having my, having, being well-groomed. I care about taking care of myself. Like, I didn't start getting manicures till I was 22. The first manicure I've ever had came when I was my 22nd, the day before my 22nd birthday. I was supposed to go to Jamaica, and my cousin was like, yo, bro, let's go to the nail shop. And I got a manicure. And he was like, bro, just trust me. I trust you. Again, me expanding my knowledge, right? There's always things you can do better to be high value. Now, we were talking about social media earlier. Social media has skewed the fact because everybody's fucking naked, you know? But I want to make sure you understand this. Just because a person is online naked does not make them low value, right? It does not make them low value. It could change the way you perceive them, right? But it can never change the way they perceive themselves. See, it, it, it should tell you more so how to maneuver, right? In the same way uh, a woman is online with the OnlyFans, is the same way a man online... You know what I'm saying? With his whole profile full of money showing he got this. Bank account probably emptied in the motherfucker though. You know? And, and I, I, I want to make it very, very well understood that it should not tell you where to place them in value, but more so where to place them in your life. If you know that's not what you seek, don't look that way. Right? If you know that's not for you, don't look that way. It's as simple as that. You know, and the thing about it is, when I envision Mrs. Wiley, Mrs. Wiley seeks internal validation, right? Mrs. Wiley isn't worried about what man thinks her ass is nice. That's, that's not how, how, how I envision. Mrs. Wiley cares more about what she thinks of herself when she looks in the mirror. Mrs. Wiley cares more about Will her, will her friends deem her good friends? Will her family deem her a good family member? Is she a good daughter? Will she make a good mother? Is she a good mother? All of these things, because let me tell you something. Value. There's a market. There's internal. Right? To me, when your internal aligns with your market, it's shown. But when your internal fails to align with your market, there's a discrepancy in it. You ever met a woman online so provocative and showing ass and showing body, only fans in the bio, and then she cussing a motherfucker out for flirting with her in a sexual nature? This is how you've presented yourself. You know, I'm not saying it's right for them to approach you this way, but all that you are is a reflection of all you receive. You get what I'm saying? All that you are is all you're getting. And if you make it known, there's a lot of women. Think about it. There's a ton of women with a ton of DMs that ain't showing nobody online. No ass, no titties, no bikini, no none of that. Right? The attention's different. I promise you, if you go assess the DM of that woman versus the DM of someone who's completely naked online, it's going to be two completely different things. Two completely different phrases. One will have so much more respect in it. And truth be told, men tend to have respect for women who respect themselves. And I, I, I'm the one who got to put that out there like this because, you know, I still appreciate all women. I think all women are beautiful, regardless of what validation you need. But I'm going to tell you something. A man who seeks External invalidation will, n how can I put it? A man who has no self-control will always be self-destructive. You understand what I'm saying?
will always be self-destructive. A man seeking external validation can never be content with you. A man seeking external validation from the world or a woman seeking external validation from the world will never be content with you. And this is something I'm familiar of. You know what I'm saying? So for me, I don't think Miss Wiley will be seeking external validation. She's going to be good with self. Honestly, what happened? I might ask Miss Wiley out. She might tell me no. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? Wrong time, wrong place. That don't mean I'm going to stop. You know what I'm saying? A chase, you know? No. Um, but just that ability to say no, I know what's good for me and I know what isn't, is an attractive trait. It's a high value trait everybody should be aiming to aim toward, push toward. You know, and I just feel like the world is skewed these definitions. So it's, in my opinion, there's a low quantity. There, it's rare. There's a rarity in high value people these days. And you know, with that being said, it brings to the question of where do you find high value people? Where do you find high value men? Where do you find high value women? Right? You find that in places you value. You get what I'm saying? You find that in places you hold high value in. If you're a reader, hit the library. If you want a nigga with a nice body, hit the gym. You want a nigga with some self-control and some discipline, hit the gym. Because there's no greater discipline than getting your ass up and going to fuck your body up for a couple hours just to look better later. There's no greater discipline than that. And all I'm going to say is, I don't got the answers. I don't always have the answers. Right? But if you ain't take nothing away from all I've said today, seek someone with self-control. Seek someone who needs internal and not external validation, right? Seek someone who can be good for you, a utility in your life. Because if they're not a utility in their own, they'll never be a utility in yours. You should not have to force that man to get the fuck up and go to work. You should not have to force that man to get up off the couch and do something with his life. It's the wrong guy for you. It's the wrong woman for you. You understand what I'm saying? And nowadays, it's this big-ass consensus that Women should not have to be utilities or, or of service to a man. Let me tell you something. And this may be the next podcast. I don't know. The problem with everybody these days is we seek companion versus partnership. Everybody wants someone to be there, right? But not someone to build with. We, we think short-term versus long-term. It's a reason your friend Kind of, when you get married, your friend kind of, it kind of goes like this. Your, your, the value of your relationship goes up and your friend kind of, you kind of see them less. There's a reason. Because you value partnership over companionship. And that, I'm not saying it should be that way. I'm, well, this, I'm not saying, you know, the increase or decrease in your friendship. Or, it just happens. And I'm not saying it should be that way. All I'm telling you is we are looking for partners. High value partners who would be good for us. Right? With that being said, that's what you do. And like I said, I don't have all the answers. I'm not goddamn heaven sent. I'm just a man, just a lover, just like you guys. So, hey, I got new merch dropping soon. The official podcast merch is here. Um, it has my face on it, you know? Um, Designed by me, super excited for it. Um, I hope you like it. If you don't like it, you know, rate it zero out of 10, Keith Lee style. If you do like it, you know, you, you absolutely welcome to purchase. We're working on a live Clubhouse event. I'm working on this show. I'm working on getting this extended version of this project out. I'm so fucking excited. Um, I'm working on so, so much. Thank you guys for bearing with me as, as often as you guys do. I love you, you know? I love you. I love you. You know, one of my favorite reels is that one is like, I love you, black man. I love you, black man. I love you, black man. Oh, I feel so, I feel so seen. God damn. Um, but I love you, you know? And if nobody told you, I'm here to tell you. Um, what, what else can I say? Stay 
Blessed, stay beautiful, and peace out. I think it's time I finally try to find myself I've been running from love, just trying to hide from all this pain I felt Look, trying not to be the joke in the deck of whatever cards get dealt They say a star still gotta let them align themselves